You. That should get us away from him for a while. But now, welcome to the Philippines when it was a colony of Spain. Ah, what a beautiful day. Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. Yeah, Steve, I'm starting to get fed up with you, you know. But I suppose I should take you to meet some friends of mine. Come. There's someone in Bohol I want you to meet. This is Francisco Sandrijas, who used to be a cabeza de barangay or a barangay captain. When his brother Sagarino died in a duel trying to capture a man that was not following the church, the local priest, a man named Father Gaspar Morales, refused to bless his body because he died in a duel, and those weren't allowed by the church. Mind you, Father Morales was actually the one who told Sagarino to pursue him. Exactly. So Francisco adopted a new surname and led the townspeople into a rebellion. They stormed the barracks of the Spaniards and swarmed the church and the haciendas. Word spread rather quickly and people supported the rebels of Bohol led by Francisco da Gohoy. That said, do you know what happened to Father Gaspar Morales afterwards? Francisco exacted his well-deserved revenge on Father Morales by killing him. And he wasn't the only priest to be a casualty. Father Giuseppe Lamberti, an Italian Jesuit priest in Hagna, also died at his and his followers' hands. Sure, these revolts lasted for a short time, maybe until his death. I will now ask you another question. Do you think the Gohoi would allow them to give up that easily? Absolutely not, right? Of course it didn't. Do you think the Gohoi would allow them to give up that easily? Even after his death, the Downs people kept his legacy alive until they stopped in 1829. It's not known when he died, but it's presumed to be from old age and sickness. 